and that more money equals more problems, man. Yo, yo, problems, your problems do not get eliminated when you get more money. All they do is shift, you feel me? It go from, I'm broke, I need money, to let me revive my circle because somebody is a snake in my circle in a mole and trying to use me. Yo, what's up, y'all boys? Been walking back to the channel, you know what I'm saying? And I said, I'm finally back, you know what I'm saying? But today, I want to talk about why more money equals more problems, man. And I, had to, I gotta have this real talk with y'all boys, cause you feel me? Like I tell y'all all the time, wherever I'm going through with thinking in my head, I know it's a lot of y'all out here with the same, you feel me, thought process or same questions about it. So, let me just give y'all background about me. So me, I come from, you know what I'm saying? I come from the hood, I ain't gonna lie. I built myself up, started investing, got my money up, I got, you know what I'm saying? Then we got two jobs now, you know what I'm saying? I live pretty well. And I thought when I was younger, goddamn, like okay when i get this money up and life's gonna become easy you know what i'm saying because when you coming from that struggle of having money or you've been able to do things you think you think your problems get eliminated but in reality they just fucking shift you know like real talk so like me i thought man when i get this money up i'm gonna grind so hard with this money up i'm not gonna have no problems bro Man, was I in for a rude awakening, y'all. Let me tell you, I'm not rich by no means, bro. I'm not rich. I'm doing very well for myself, you know what I'm saying? I can travel and do whatever I want to do. But I'm not rich. And what happened when I started getting money was kind of crazy. It's like, you think when you get money, you know what I'm saying, everything don't remain the same. You're just going to have money to, to eliminate those money problems. But that's not how it should work. When you get money, niggas... Motherfuckers around you change how they think about you. And this is real hard to heart. The main niggas that change on you is your family, bro. No cap. And I had to go through that shit the hard way, bro. Like, that's why I wanted to coach you. Always hear me say on this channel is just because you blood them and you family, bro. Like, when I got my money, everybody had their hand out. Ooh, 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 ooh. At one point, y'all, I was loaning niggas some money. Boom, I got you, bro. I got you, bro. I got it. But make sure everybody else have it. Even niggas that didn't give me shit, you know? And, bro, I was once down goddamn 3000 fucking dollars. And I had to I had to fight to get that bread back. You know what I'm saying? This bread that somebody said they was going to give me back of my, and my family, that's supposed to be my blood. They tried to scam me out my money. Because their reason was, you don't need it as bad as I do. So I don't have to pay you back. And it's kind of crazy how when you get money, motherfuckers see you as a meal ticket. Like, that's like one of the few problems. But the main problem when you get money, my main message in this is when you get money, your problems don't eliminate. They just shift. So when you down, of course, a lot of motherfuckers not going to fuck with you and they don't be genuine with you because, you know what I'm saying, they see you as equal to them. But when you start rising... You know what I'm saying? Elevating yourself, and you feel me, in, in every level, especially economically. Man, the problems that come with that is you don't have to reevaluate your circle and really pay attention to who around you and if, and if they really for you or if they really just for what you got. No cap. Like, like I say this all the time. I learned that from the hard way of like giving niggas money. Niggas ain't want to pay me back. Niggas lying about owing me money or me giving them money. Like, I, I say, I tell people all the time i don't give a fuck what relationship you think we ain't me and you got i don't care if you and my family i don't care if you my best friend for how many years i don't care if you my friend i don't care what you are to me if you think you finna sit here and play at me about some especially about some money knowing i've been genuine to you my whole fucking life i will cut you the fuck off and i'm gonna be real with y'all i lived up to that i done cut so many niggas off bro oh shit let just out here i just cut so many money so many motherfuckers off just due to the fact that like like niggas thought since I have money basically I'm gonna put it to it this way people don't like to see you elevate so like when you get bread and you start elevating yourself in that social economical way motherfuckers will do anything to drag you back down to the level when you was when you were struggling or level to them a lot of motherfuckers is jealous of, of success and other people having success me I'm the opposite man hey, man I got homies out here that's making Two hundred thousand dollars. I got homies that's making fifty thousand. I don't give a fuck. Every little, every little growth they got, I'm congratulating. Hey, congratulations, Brody, on the new job. Even if you coming from goddamn McDonald's to goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Every little accomplishment they got, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm. You feel me? I'm congratulating these niggas, and that's why my friend group 
it's a way we all be so tight knit because we celebrate each other's growth. You feel me? No matter where we at in life, we celebrate that shit. But crazy thing is, most of them, my 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 real support group, like the motherfuckers that support me, that support what I do, that celebrate my accomplishments, are not my family. You know what I'm saying? Like. They was the first niggas to really switch up on me, you know. When I started doing things my way, out out of the ordinary, you know, feel me? Like, and when I started getting money, they was all for that shit. But when I started cutting niggas off, not giving niggas money because they was trying to play me about money, they motherfuckers turn a blind eye, you know. Like, they don't celebrate none of my accomplishments. Like, like some real shit with y'all. The main niggas in my circle that celebrate my accomplishments, that's gonna help me, give me tips and advice, is literally my homie's parents. You feel me? Shout out to Ben's parents, bro. And I said, Ben's parents, if Ben's parents ever see my video, I'm gonna let it be genuine and naturally. I'm not gonna tell them to watch my video. <laughs> they, they, they y'all know how much I appreciate y'all. These, these people right here, they're not even my parents. They my friends' parents. Man, when I go over there, we talk about how how I can make my business better. We talk about how I can market my business. All of that shit. They don't ask me for a dime of money. They don't. That's crazy, right? Like, people show their true colors. Like, when that bread come in, niggas try to show their true colors. You, you forgot, is this motherfucker here for me? Or is this motherfucker here for what I got? And they think they can capitalize off of that shit. Like, on some real shit. Like, out of my whole circle, the niggas that really support me, that woo-woo, like, Troy, what you up to? How the business? Excuse me, y'all. The niggas that do that, are not my family members. This fam, the, the niggas that was so so family, bro. Man, these niggas got damn well used me and abused me for bread so fast, bro. Like y'all don't know. I'm gonna give you a background about me. Like shit. Like when I was in college, y'all, I was in college. College athlete, busy, damn near 24 hours a day. Practice, class, study, all of that. After 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 school workouts, all of that. I was still having niggas from home was still asking me for money to send to them you know and i did that shit out of you know what I'm saying family you know but i realized like after a long time this shit not family because i ain't getting nothing in return when i came back it wasn't genuine motherfuckers would still treat me like shit and then when i really elevated that's when it got worse i was and i was still trying to help niggas out because i'm a good i got a good heart in me bro and giving niggas a thousand dollars two thousand dollars without paying me back oh yeah pay me back later when you get it boy i had to live back in my expenses gang i said bro I'm down three racks. And I had to fight nail and tooth to get my bread back. Motherfuckers was lying saying I didn't give them money. Then it wasn't then I, I'm I'm exaggerating how much I gave them. Then it's all type of shit. I had to fight to get my bread back, y'all. Like it's nuts, bro. Like money really reveal motherfuckers true colors. It's the main indicator. You know, so when you start going up, don't tell nobody about what you got going on. That's a mistake I made. I was proud of myself, so I was expecting, you know what I'm saying? All these motherfuckers that's supposed to be my family, quote unquote family, or supporting me, to be proud of me too. Like, oh yeah, yeah, look. Look at my sock portfolio. Look how much I'm making. Like, look what I built up, you know? Look at my new job and just like, look how much money I'm making between my new job and my stock. And I was expecting niggas to be happy for me, but they really saw me as an opportunity. Okay, I'm finna try to squeeze some money out of this nigga or try to get something for him, from him, you know? And. It's just crazy, y'all, how, like, I learned that as a youngin', so I'm proud. I'm proud they did it at the level I was because I might even then elevate And When I elevate to the top, I'm just proud I learned these lessons now because when I go up, all the way up, bro, you know what I'm saying? When I really got that chicken, these motherfuckers is, they were done. <laughs> but that's why I keep everything under wraps now, and that's my advice to y'all as well, man. But y'all get this chicken, man. Keep that shit under wraps. Keep that shit to yourself. Only tell a few people, like the few motherfuckers, that you know you can fuck with. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they will reveal themselves, but overall, keep that shit to yourself. Because the more niggas you tell, the more niggas they see you as a meal ticket. They feel like I can use you, abuse you, get money out of you, and we do whatever, bro. Like, no cap. So, that's, man, that's just why I got to bring to y'all today, man. That more money equals more problems, man. Yo, yo problems your problems do not get eliminated when you get more money all they do is shift you feel me it go from i'm broke i need money till let me revive my circle because somebody is a snake in my circle in a mole and trying to use me so like and it's just as hard as being broke then because you really got to look at everybody actions like 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 you know what i'm saying like you got to look at everybody actions and how they treat you like in my in my opinion like Relationships with people are give and take. Like, not just like, 
obviously dating and shit, but this way, anybody that you in your circle is give and take. It's not, it should be naturally that way. You shouldn't have to be like, if I do this for you, you do this for me. It should be like, this should be like, okay, I fuck with this nigga. I want to help him out the same way he want to help me out. So like, for example, when, my, when I'm out with the homies, we don't really do, I'm going to pay ha half the bills. I pay for it one time. You know what I'm saying? Another homie pay for it the next time, et cetera, et cetera. And we naturally do that because we fuck with each other. It shouldn't be, I mean, you, you got to catch on to things like that because a lot of motherfuckers are, Okay, help me out with this. Do this and do this, and you realize, damn, he ain't really can. He or she not contributing to shit I got going on. They just expect me to do everything. So you gotta watch out for these niggas, man. You, these snakes in your camp be the hardest to find. But when you find these motherfuckers, you be so happy. Can you be like, I'm so happy you did. You tried to snake me when I was at this level, cause I'm going all the way up. When I'm all the way up, you done. You know what I'm saying? Cause you already you already got caught. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to. When you get this money, you don't have to cut motherfuckers off, like. For real, like people you think that I never cut off or was for me, you'll figure it out these niggas not for me, and you don't have to cut these niggas off, bro. <laughs> like, it's real crazy how people you think that was close to you that you gotta cut off, you know. But man, that's the end of it. That's the end of the goddamn talk, man. You know, what I mean? I'm glad to be back behind the cam, goddamn. But goddamn, please, man, just take this, take these advice and these lessons I'm giving to y'all in these videos to Harbo and and really install them into your life because I don't want y'all to make the same mistakes I made in life, you feel me. But with that being said, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope what I said is helpful. Comment down below what was the most important, uh, to not topic, but the most important, like, lesson. What was the most important thing I said in the video? You feel me? That's, that's, on, that's you don't install in your life. You feel me? Have a good day and night whenever you're watching this. And with that being said, I'm out. Blue!